So here it is. John sent his disciples to ask Jesus a question. They asked Jesus a question, baby, and when they asked Jesus a question, Jesus made fun of John. They have a spiritual joke going back and forth between the two of them. <laughs> because they both knew his assignment. Right, right. Watch this. When you on assignment, somebody gonna know your assignment. Mm. Somebody already waiting on you. Mm. Mm. When you get an assignment, y'all need to hear me. Somebody else already know your assignment. Mm. And they're waiting on you. Wow. Okay, watch this. You heard a crazy guy like me say some words. And then you start coming to the church. Say mm -hmm. amen. 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 Some of y'all moved. <laughs> amen. Say amen. Amen. Because somebody knows somebody's a sign. Wow. Man. Wow. 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 That's good. That's it. I'm just confirming what I know is the truth. They knew each other's a sign. And he said, you will send out them to prepare the way for me. Right. I'm here that you were paying the way for. Right. Remember what God told us both? In the womb, spirit be not spirit. Okay, watch it. Let's go back. Because it don't really say what was said. But let's just kind of prophetically paraphrase this, okay? Mary, on a little donkey, go see her cousin, Elizabeth. Both were pregnant at the same time. Two purposes being birthed and simultaneously. Wow. The other one knows what the other one's doing and the other one knows what the other one's doing. Because they have a joint assignment. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But one is supposed to go before the other one. So what God does is he removed one for 18 years. Mm. <laughs> he sent one somewhere to cultivate. Wow. To get groomed. And then he sent the other one out in the wilderness to prepare the way. God. Okay, here we go now. I'm just talking. We ain't got your value yet. Because this is real value in case you ain't understood it yet. <laughs> you got some food in the woods. Right. Okay. You ever seen a homeless person like underneath the freeway? Mm -hmm. yeah. And they don't move. They be there. They got clothes out there and everything. And we really think they crazy. Mm -hmm. Watch this. I see people walking down the freeway and I'm staying in the freeway talking to themselves. I see him do on Sunday every week. Walk down the street. <laughs> when it's time to eat, he ain't talking crap. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. We want to get some money from you. He talked just as clear. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if I could get two dollars from him. But you the guy that was walking down the street talking to yourself. Yep. So is he really crazy? Nope. Mm -mm. Or is he getting a check? Mm. Why are you talking about it? Because when you're on an assignment, you don't get to pick and choose when you do your assignment. Mm, that's right. Okay. This is why I'm using this example. Wow. I know a crazy guy acting crazy when he wants to, but not all the time. Mm, mm. Now I've seen some crazy people. Mm -hmm. They don't never change. It's always the same whenever you see them. <laughs> Couple of them in my family. Always the same. Good day, bad day, same identical thing. All the time. So they're not really what? Crazy. crazy. If they can be this state and then be this state, they might be bipolar. Yeah. Tripolar. <laughs> make up a word. Quadpolar. <laughs> Could be. Multiple personalities, schizophrenia, schizophrenia is in the body of Christ. Watch this. So now we got people in church. To be intercessors. Oh. We got people in the church pretending to be saved. Mm. We got people in the church pretending to be prophets. Jesus. Man. We don't see them here, and somebody else different. Wow. So Jesus is saying, What you go out there for? Mm. Aren't you the one I sent? Mm. Okay, watch this. Apostolic is all about being sent. John was an apostle mm -hmm. because he was sent to the wilderness by the Holy Ghost. Yeah. He didn't just go out 
there. <laughs> huh? What you saying, prophet? The main thing about being an apostle is you must be what? Sent. How do we know? Because Jesus did it with the disciples. Mm -hmm. yep. He sent the disciples who became apostles. Did nobody ordain them? Right. Right. That's true. <laughs> I'm just doing this for all my church folks. <laughs> that I hope they get to see this video. That's got to go through all these doctors to become an apostle. Come on. They didn't go to no apostle school. Come on. Come on. They was taught by the master himself. Yes. Yeah, come on, come on. And he left them with an assignment. Mm -hmm. Go ye first in the well, Jerusalem, then Judea, then Samaria, and the other most parts of the earth, and preach the kingdom. The kingdom. The gospel of what? Jesus Christ. Mm. Wait a minute. What you talking about? What does this got to do with John? Because he was in there preaching about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Right. So I can prophetically make an assumption that John was an apostle. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because he was sick before the twelve was sick. Come on. Right. Mm -hmm. right. That's why Jesus could say, let me quote it right, because I don't want to pray for his dick, because you know these, all these Bible scholars are going to break you down. <laughs> Verse 11. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, that's all of us, say all of us. All of us. There have not risen a greater, a greater than John the Baptist. Amen. Did it say Peter the Rock? Did it say Luke the Doctor? How about Matthew the Count? It said there has not been one born greater than John. Right. Because the assignment that John had was to prepare a way for the one. Everybody was looking for the prophet that John spoke about. And it was right there. Mm. He said, I'm not only the prophet, but I am Eli. Elias. We need to look up Elias. Look, you got that in your, you got Elias in there. In the back of your recorders, in the back of your There was a silence, duality of silence. John had one, Jesus had one. They were supposed to meet at an appointed place at an appointed time. Not in there. An appointed place and an appointed time. They're supposed to gather together. They knew it. They were both looking for each other. Jesus made fun of it by telling them, I've done this, 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 and this. Now go back and tell it. And then he cracked on him with the crack. Man. I can't believe he asked that. He know that I'm the one that came because this is what we were told when we was in the womb. Right. Right. And then after he cracked him, he gave him much, 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 much kudos. Right. Can nobody give you no bigger kudos than what Jesus just gave John? Yeah. Yeah. He said, and I quote, and I quote, there has not been one born of women greater than John the Baptist, who has been valid in the wilderness for years. Good. Let's keep going. Hey, man, probably you didn't lost me. I am lost. Don't be lost. Just be happy. <laughs> Verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. Good. Let me flip to my, my definition. Then we'll be able to do what we need to do now. Amen. Definition. Here we go. I got to say, I am on my bookmark so I can go right to him. Amen. Go on. Okay, good. Violence. I'm going to read what it says in Wikipedia about violence. This is going to mess y'all up. <sighs> it says, violence is defined as the intentional use of physical force of or power. Threatening or actual against a person or against a group or community that either results in or has a high likelihood of resulting in injury, death, psychological harm, maldevelopment, or deprivation. The definition associate, associates intentionally with 
the committing of the act itself in respect to the outcome it produces. Man, he was like, what is that they were just saying? Violence is intended for your mind, body, and soul. Come on. Oh, you see, y'all get it. The kingdom of God suffers violence, violence, but the violent, those that are operating in violence, take it by force. Mm. Now, how do you take violence by force? Mm. You have to be violent. Yeah. Come on. Okay, watch this. Military. You know how a world comes? It's because somebody did something. Right, mm. right. Okay, let's break it down. Come up here, come up here, for, come up here, for, come up here for me. Come stand right here. You better knock this off myself. Now what's gonna happen? We finna get violent. But who was the first one to be violent? Who was the first one? You, you, me, or who? Which one? Why am I the first one to be violent? That's true. Because I what? Because I spoke it. Wow, that's true, yeah. Uh-oh, hold on. You bad. Step off this line. She still did. Step off this line. Step off this line. Amen. You better not fight with her. She ain't gonna play fair. <laughs> Step across this line if you bad, baby. Step over here. Amen. Now I'm gonna fight now. She will beat me up. Go on, sit down. I didn't use the wrong person. You <laughs> trying to get me in on the slide. You see how many times she hit me? I gotta pray about you, wife. 